This is the first part of a Functional Skills Level 1 paper from City and Guilds. There is a total of 15 marks for this paper and you can't use a calculator. In one, we've got 4 add 2 in brackets, multiplied by 6, take away 1. What's that equal to? So we've got to apply bid mass. We've got a bracket first, so we'll do the operation within the bracket first, which is 4 add 2, that makes 6 times 6, take away 1. Now, in between multiplication and subtraction, we'll choose to do multiplication first. 6 times 6 is 36. Take away 1 gives us 35. What is 0 0.4 as a percentage? 0 0.4, that looks very similar to this. And if there is no digit after that, we put a zero. So that is like 40 pence, which is 40%. So don't confuse this with 0 0.04, because that would be 4%. Question number three. What is 8.35719 rounded to two decimal places? So that means we'd have two digits after the decimal point. Looking at 7, that is higher than 5, so we're going to round this up. So the 5 will become a 6, and we keep the digits in front the same. Of course, we don't include the rest of the digits that are after the line that I drew. So we've got 8.36 as the answer. Question number four, 4.978 times what makes 4,978? What's the missing number? So looking at the digits, they are the same. We've got four, four, nine, nine, seven, seven, eight, eight. What's happened is that the decimal point has moved three places to the right. So it's got one, two, three. We can suppose it to be here. It doesn't really matter if it's at the end. It doesn't make any difference. So it's moved three places. So what we multiplied must by must have three zeros. So that is 1000. And we know it's multiplication. We've got the operation here. And we can also see that the number has got much bigger from four 0.978 is going to 4,978. So the answer is 1,000. Question number five, what's the volume of this cube? We know that to work out the volume, we need to multiply the three dimensions, length, width, and depth or height. And we also know that a cube will have all of them three being the same. So it's going to be five centimeters. This is going to be five centimeters. So we'll multiply them three. So five times five times five. Five times five is 25. 25 times five or five lots of 25 make 125. So 125 cubic centimetres is the answer. Question six, 
shade two thirds of the circle so there is at least one line of symmetry. For two thirds, how many slices are there in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, and another six, so that's 12. Two thirds of 12. Twelve divided by three is four. Two lots of four makes eight. So I'm going to need to color in eight of the slices. I'm going to make a pattern. So I'm going to start coloring it in. So I've got one already. And I'm going to do the same with this, 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 this. So that is eight in total. I've colored them in, and as you can see, there is at least one line of symmetry. There is, there is more, there are more actually in mine, but if in yours there is one line of symmetry, it should be fine because there are different ways you could answer this question. You can see mine has many more. Question number seven. Which of these lists of fractions and mixed numbers is in order from smallest to largest? Let's convert them all to fractions. So this one is two and one quarter. So two whole ones and one quarter. Two whole ones will have four quarters and another four quarters, eight quarters. Add one quarter as well. So that is nine quarters. The second one will have a whole which is four quarters and three quarters, that is seven quarters. This one is just three quarters. One whole has four quarters and another one five quarters. The smallest of them all is the one with the lowest number at the top, the smallest number at the top, so we've got three quarters as the smallest. Having a look, that's either option C or D. Then the next biggest one is five quarters, which was one and one quarter, and that is this one here. And the rest of them, of course, match. So we've got seven quarters being shown as one and three quarters, and then this one. So option C is the correct one. Question 8. If 28 times 63 is equal to 1764, what is 1764 divided by 63? We know that multiplication and division are opposites of each other, so to reverse this process you go backwards. So 1764 divided by 63 gives us 28. So the answer is 28. Which one of these nets will fold into this shape, into this cuboid? We know that a cuboid will have four of these long faces. So that's not number one, that's not number two, it's between three and four. But it has these two smaller faces, square faces, 
which might be all rectangular faces, but they're smaller on the side. And for this option, they are actually not on the side. They are only for this last option. So D is the correct option. Write 205,030 in figures. So 205,030. So there are no hundreds, just 30. Shop owner sells a new board game on website. He wants to give an average mean customer rating for his website. He asks customers to give a star rating for the board game. What rating will he use for the website? Show your working. So we've got three, 4.5, 3.5, 3.5, 4, 4.5, which we're gonna add all together. Okay, so I'm gonna add the decimals first so if i add 4.5 and 4.5 that's going to give me 9 if i add 3.5 and 0 0.5 it's going to give me 4 so that is 13 now adding 3 to that makes 16 adding 4 to that makes 20 25 28 how many ratings are they all together? That's eight. So we're going to divide this by eight. How many eights will fit into 28? That's going to be three, because three times eight is 24. And we've got four left. Now we've run out of digits, so we're going to put decimal point in here. And we can add a zero. Eight, how many eights into 40? That's exactly five. So 3.5 should be the rating that he puts on the website. A baker wants to order enough flour for 10 loaves of bread weighing 750 grams each. He, she has a recipe for a 500 gram loaf of bread which needs 480 grams of flour. How many grams of flour does the baker need? Show your work in. First of all, how much flour does she need overall? That's 10 loaves, 750 grams each, so 750 times 10, that makes 7,500. Then we know that for one 500 gram loaf, she's going to need 480 grams of flour. So how many 500s fit into 7,500? How many 500s fit into 750? That is just one. And then we've got 250 left. So into 2,500, how many 500s would there fit? That would be five. So she needs 15 times more flour. So 480 times 15, five times zero is zero. Five times eight is 40. 5 times 4 is 20, and the 4 is 24. 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4. Adding them together, 0, 0, 7,200 grams. 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. So this is going to be divided by 1,000 to give us 7.2 kilograms. And this is the end of the section.